Hello and welcome to Hitman 3. I'm excited about this game, so let's get started. Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. All right. So that's what happened so far. Let's start on the first mission. It's called On Top of the World. And it looks like these two guys are the ones we're gonna have to take out. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought. Until now, after decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth-generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking, and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. 
Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Okay, so it seems like the constant, the guy we caught in the last game, escaped. So I wonder if we're going to be catching this time or trying to kill him. And this mission looks like we have two guys. Carl Ingram and Marcus Stuyvesagard, I think. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Okay, it looks like the video skipped at one point. I wonder why. But we landed on this building, so I guess we have to try to get inside somehow. I'm glad he doesn't have a fear of heights. Forty-seven, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. It's like a 007 kind of gadget, I guess. It's kind of cool. I'm in position. Forty-seven, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. And it looks like we're in. Uh, there's lots of guys. I wonder if I can just walk through. Oh, nice! That was a nice transition into a suit. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar Al-Qaeda, looking Al good. Looking good. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the Scepter pamphlets. Friendship 
Okay, looks like we have a mission story here. Let's check it out and see what it's about. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, you might be able to recover useful intel from it. We have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. Okay, let's follow this mission story and see what happens. Please, be my guests and celebrate! It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. Let's go to the server room then. It's a nice building. I'd definitely like to visit Dubai one, one day. Okay, I guess nobody cares if I run. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. The code is written on the whiteboard in big, big letters or numbers. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? Um, there is a lot of guys from what I saw. Looks like we can hide some of them here. Change into our clothes. So there's this guy still, I think. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Dragon, are they gonna see me? Maybe. Let's just give it a try, anyways. Yeah, let's do it. guy can see me or recognize me. Hello. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. More James Bond stuff. Come on, what the That's not suspicious at all. Okay, so they have to take him out, or is he gonna leave as well? Oh yeah, he left. Nice. I guess we go outside. Don't look down. Sheikh Al Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. 
If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. Looks like there's a party over here. I wonder if that's another mission story we could do. Maybe I'll play through all the mission stories later on. And I guess the camera comes out again. Looks like I have a new costume. Or disguise. Okay, there's a key. Maybe that will be useful. Anything else? Nothing on the board? I don't think I'll need the hammer, and we have the server room here. Hmm, a calendar function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. Okay. Anyone, I guess? Maybe not. Damn it. A silent alarm has been checked. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. Where? Aha. Uh -huh. I could have gone outside and hidden the closet. Maybe they won't see me. They won't see me. And of course, it's all fine here. <laughs> nice. oh, I hate this system already. Yes, sorry about that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? Ah, uh, I think I've got it. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. And there's maintenance, I guess. Hey, it's me. She I thought see about me what you that? said. Yeah, I changed my mind. It was an insane idea to start with. So, Exploding I guess... Golf. I have to get dressed as this guy. What does he have? No, I can't get dressed because I already have his disguise. Oh, he has a key card. Okay. Oh, I have to see here. I'll take it home when my shift is over. I love you. So now that I have the key card, this slides out, but it didn't slide out before. Well, that must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? No. Wait. This one's yellow, and the other ones are green. So this one. Yes. Good. We're in. Now all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Let's disable the cameras. Building cameras are now disabled. Good 
work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Andy. Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this, 47. Cameras are showing a lot of guards up here. They wouldn't suspect one of their own. Though. How are you? And I guess you're the chosen one. Oh wait, there's a guy right there. He didn't see us. as well. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Okay, so a couple guys can still recognize us. Yeah, I just want to remind you about the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. And the key cards to activate the alarms are still in the safe and the security. Through here. Nice meeting room. And this chair looks like it's meant for us. So I wonder if that's another mission story. We join a meeting and poison them or something. Please stay back. Partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. Okay. It's a busy day for him. Surely we can give him a few moments. Do you know what he wants to talk about? No, but I've known this man for a long time. He wouldn't call us up here without good reason. I trust his people. That's interesting. What's this? Carl? Did you do that? I certainly did not. I have no idea what's going on. Gentlemen. What's the meaning of this? You. You're the one responsible for all this. Gray, what do you want? Something that has been a long time due. Revenge. Revenge? How but now? You killed Cobb, Navikov, Caruso, the Washington twins, everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank. And you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing more. What did we ever do to you anyway? You specifically? Nothing. Providence? Everything. Providence made me. And at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just returning to favor. Providence has ruined the lives of countless people, expecting and facing no consequence for its actions. You take for yourselves and those who support you, and you burn everyone and everything else to the ground from the comfort of the shadows. No more. You're delusional. Exposing us achieved nothing beyond moving a few pieces around on a board much more complicated than you can fathom. The world believes we're dead. What more do you want? Me? Nothing. My friend, however, well, let's just say he's a bit of an expert. I'm just here to watch you die. 47. Don't hit me! Finish <laughs> it. I need help! Oh, shit! That was... unexpectedly fast. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. 47. 
Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town. It's weird that they didn't even suspect me when I was in the room with them, but okay. So let's hide them and I guess we just walk out. Let's see if they're gonna suspect something. here. Just walking out. That's not suspicious at all. They, those two guys just left a different way. And everything was locked. So we have an exit here. Maybe a helicopter. We jump. Oh, stop. Too difficult. Maybe just the first mission is that way. If that's your winning face, I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Now nah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And. Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. Okay. I guess he's our big enemy this game. Well, that was fun. I'll see you guys in part two.